us from sin. Exactly. Okay, so while the, this world is, is, is glorying in wickedness and, and we're suffering in wickedness, it's going to be a flip. You know, flip over, man. It's going to be a, a, a trading of places. The people that are glory, glorying now, pretty soon they're going to be suffering. And we're going to be glorying. Okay? And Yahushai said this. Alright? Yahushai told us that. But right now, man, we, we suffer. We deal with it. We endure it. Like Micah said. And I, I always have to bring out what Micah, the prophet Micah said. Because it's just so definitive, you know? It's just so comforting. It's just it just it's just so so plain. All right, uh, the book of Micah, Micah seven and seven. I'll start the seven chapter seven verse. Therefore, I will look unto the Lord, which is what we're doing, right? We're looking unto the Lord through these scriptures, through the Holy Spirit. Remember. Reading the scriptures has to be uh, tampered with the Holy Spirit for us to get the understanding. You know, there's many people that read the Bible that don't mean they get the understanding. You can't just pick up the Bible and start reading it and you get the understanding. If the Holy Spirit ain't working with you, you ain't going to understand what you read. But see, brothers, we're different. Yahweh Bar Shem Yahweh Shai has blessed us with the Holy Spirit to understand what we read and to believe in it. So we're looking unto the Lord. We fit what the, what is written here. That fits us. Therefore, I will look unto the Lord. I will wait for the power of my salvation. We're waiting. And the hardest thing is the waiting. Okay, like years ago, I did a video called uh, the, the Waiting, which is the hardest part. You know, came out of a song, which was one of my favorite songs. All right, the waiting is the hardest part. Okay, but <laughs> brothers, you can feel it, man. We don't have to wait too much longer. You can feel it within your spirit that something major is getting ready to happen. That the tables are getting ready to turn, man. This wicked world is getting ready to be destroyed. You know, Yahweh, Yahweh Shai will destroy this wicked world. And destroy the, the, the proponents that bring about that wickedness, which is Esau, Edom, which is the wicked. So a major, a major paradigm shift is getting ready to happen, brothers. A major change is coming. As it is written, the fashion of this world shall pass away. So while that's happening, we wait. Okay? Just like the scripture says here. Therefore, I'll look unto the Lord. I will wait for the power of my salvation. Who is the power of our salvation? Yahweh Shai. Remember? The captain of our salvation. My power will hear me. <laughs> there you go. Rejoice not against me, O mine enemy. And right now they rejoice against us. Because they got the upper hand. I'm talking about Esau, Edom. Even two thirds of our people, they, they rejoice against us. They think they got it made because they sided with the devil. Man, them and the devil is going to go down. How about that? Anyway, rejoice not against me, O mine enemy, when I fall, which we did fall. I shall arise. See? <laughs> when I sit in darkness, the Lord shall be a light unto me. And indeed, we were, brothers, let's not forget, we were once in darkness. And the Lord became a light unto us. He showed us the truth. Okay? <laughs> Never forget that. Never forget we were once in darkness. And we've been brought into the truth. Which is a great thing, man. And don't take this thing lightly. Okay? Call to mind. Remember the days when you were in darkness. When you didn't know up from down concerning the scriptures. But now you know the deal. Now you know the truth. Okay? And that wasn't our doing. That was the doing of the Holy Spirit of Yahweh Bar Shem Shai. So we're not to take that for granted, brothers. Anyway, reading on, now that we know the truth, now that we have the light, the ninth verse, I will bear the indignation of the Lord. So we know why we're suffering. We know it's his indignation. Indignation means righteous anger. And it was righteous for the Lord to get angry at us because we sinned against him. All right? We broke the contract. Remember the contract? Remember the covenant that our forefather Moses gave us? Remember that? We broke that, man. So it's right for us to suffer, man. You know, brothers feeling all sorry for themselves. Man, remember, call to mind when our forefathers, which was really us, broke the, the contract, broke the covenant of the Lord. And that serves to humble us, man. All right? I will bear the indignation of the Lord because I have sinned against him. There it is. And what is sin? Transgression of the law. We know this. 
We know this by what? We know this by the Holy Scriptures. We know this by the Holy Spirit. We know what sin is. Many people talk about sin. They don't even know what sin is, man. They can't even accurately define the word sin. We can. Sin is transgression of the law. Let's get the scripture.